Hi, my name is Pranjal and I come from Guwahati and the idea that I bring into the competition is in the retail domain. Now just a minute, have you ever wondered what would happen if there was a Facebook in the real physical world? The neighborhood grocery store becomes the hub of all social life. For anything that we need or want done at home, we head for the grocery store. The grocery store becomes the matchmaker, the butler service provider, the chauffeur provider, the gas cylinder booking office, etc. etc. Now hold on. This is about to become a reality. We present before you Fox Daily, the new age convenience store that doubles as your social hub in the physical world as well as your butler service. And what is this Fox Daily? With Fox Daily, we bring to you a 300 square feet new age modern convenience store that is competing with the neighborhood mom and pop stores. It would sell 500 fastest moving items in 80% small pack and 20% medium and large pack size. Now why so? Because small packs sell faster. Small packs have larger margins and small packs are relatively easier to handle in terms of store handling. The product mix is designed for 70% food and 30% non-food with an average margin of 15%. These stores will be stand alone high street stores preferably in the crossroad junction for visibility. Now we do not want to be part of a mall or a big shopping complex primarily because we would not only lose out on footfall but on the purse size. People who carry say thousand bucks would split the thousand bucks between three different stores if we are part of a shopping complex. Now if you are a standalone store then there is high possibility that we can at least aim for 900 rupees out of the thousand bucks in this pocket. Will, the stores will hold three to five days inventory at the store. We will do home delivery. We will actively engage with customers through in-store activities. There will be in-store activities for different profiles of customer on different dates of them days of the month. Now we will also have a customer service department who would engage over calls to our customers to sell and to inform them of promotions. Now this would increase sale as well as footfall. Now the idea here for us is not only you know opening up stores and waiting for customers to come in. The idea is to going into the drawing rooms of our customer and engaging with them to bring them to our stores. We would have a membership system through which they would benefit through a reward program as well as we would do a huge amount of monthly bulk selling directly to them over, home de over the home delivery model. Now, with regards to our team, what is the team that uh, this organization brings to the table? I, for, I as a initiator of this business, bring four years of uh, retail domain experience, more than four years, worked in Metro Cash and Carry, one of the first group of employees uh, with Metro. I have worked with Aditya Billa Retail, I was with Madhura Garments. So apart from that, I bring 14 years of uh, HR experience across multinationals and consulting, HR consulting in India as well as abroad. 15 years of corporate legal experience is brought in by a colleague of mine. 16 years of operational and main experience is brought in by another colleague of mine. 16 plus years of finance and accounting experience in multinationals brought in by another colleague. So we formed a core team. The only skills that we need are skills in buying and vision merchandising. However, we've created a model which does not require the skills for first study stores, which means for the first first year. Going forward beyond the first day is when we need the skills and we'll uh, get it as and when we require it. Okay, now we we'll talk about opportunity. We are looking at revolutionizing the grocery retail uh, business in India. And uh, as per Business Monitor International, grocery retailing sale would reach uh, 27.67 billion by 2015 in India, which is a huge, huge market to think about. And uh, 
since uh, all four of us uh, who have initiated this idea are based out of uh, Kohati in Assam, so we would want to uh, you know do the first 10, 15 stores in Kohati and then scale up and move across uh, geographies to uh, the metros and the two cities uh, uh, to you know spread the business. And uh, what are we doing here? We are providing the society with a scope to reconnect and engage with each other through grocery shopping. So this entire model is very different. It's not about a normal grocery store where you would walk in to buy your grocery, but could also be a platform to connect. It is the adda of the old world. They are wanting to reconnect people to the lost charm of adda and thereby you know increasing footfall and the sales subsequently yeah, you know it would be something it would be a revolution it would be something which has never happened in this country uh, in long long time uh, now to come and talk about the grocery of the sorry the revenue uh, growth matrix uh, we are talking about a turnover of 14.4 uh, crore so with 10 store within the first year with a daily sale of uh, 40,000 only. However, uh, you know, uh, grocery stores across Kohati, when we did our field study, revealed that uh, do a business of around uh, 50 to uh, 100, oh, sorry, 50 to uh, 50,000 to 1 lakh, 20,000 uh, on average. And there are some stores who do much more, but I'm talking about smaller stores. And as you scale up and uh, come to the end of the first year by when by when we would be targeting 30 uh, stores we would be talking about 43.2 crores of uh, uh, annual turnover and by the end of the second year wherein we should be at 70 stores we would be doing a volume of uh, annual turnover of uh, 180 crores which is a huge huge number uh, in terms of business for a startup like this right okay now talking about competition, as on date, if I have to scan through uh, the entire country, there is no direct or indirect competition apart from the neighborhood mom pop stores. But what are they competing with us and what are we competing with them? It is only grocery sales. And that actually is not a competition because the model is different, our model is different. They wait for customers to come in and buy and go while we step into the drawing room and the house of our customers and do a majority of our sale. We engage with them over telephone and other media to you know connect with them, excite them, bring them to the store, engage them in the store, and in turn make them buy. Right? So the entire concept is different. So 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 there's actually no competition. It's a new segment which is getting created. Our strength lies in the originality of our idea, and a weakness can be that just that it is an untested concept. An opportunity would be evolution of a new segment. We are in the business of selling grocery by using social media as a platform for engagement and enticing and getting our customers to come to the store. We have a leadership team that is highly experienced in their respective domain. Our uniqueness lies in our understanding of how parallels can be drawn from the internet based engagement to the grocery business and since this is a unique model competition can only copy not come up with workable original ideas and concepts it's very simple okay now let me uh, explain to you the distribution model now we have come up with something unique this model which is also there in the ppt which you can refer to at a later stage uh, does away with uh, the warehouse even if we have 100 stores we do not need warehouse which is the strangeness and the uniqueness of this model how do we do it we do it by using uh, the available uh, it so resource uh, solutions uh, provided by companies like ibm and cisco uh, and customizing it a little bit so let me explain to you so what we have is the store is a small operations team which is called the central ops team. For the first year, uh, wherein we are talking about being um, 30 stores, we would require around 3 people. 
and you would have the stores uh, you know around Now all products in the store are barcoded and how it is done, the barcode of the products are you know, integrated into our system A and then for products which do not have barcode, um, the central ops team creates the barcode and is sent to the store wherein it is pasted to the products and kept in the racks. So um, uh, as soon as products are sold, it is swiped and the POS has a data twice a day, once in the afternoon, once at the end of the day, data is uploaded through internet to the main server, the stores. Uh, would upload the data. Now, as soon as that happens, we will be using a software called MRP, which stands for Material Requirement Planning. Now, this is a software which is used by organizations like Hindustan Lever, PNG, etc., in their factories and in the warehouses. What happens is that basically, when products are shipped out of the warehouse, uh, you know the data is updated and the factories come to know the stock at the warehouse and accordingly plan their production and the shipment to the warehouses. Uh, this can be you know customized a little bit and used here and that's what we intend to do. See another thing which is happening is that uh, uh, the four of us uh, who are a core team member of this uh, business initiative bring in with us a lot of experience from multinationals across the world. Globe. So, so you know, so with that comes uh, you know insights and knowledges of different products uh, and services which can be used in this business, right? Now, once that happens, what happens is also these are the product vendors. What a product vendor? Warehouses. Now, as soon as these guys uh, upload their data, these guys would have the MRP, and the MRP is uh, aligned to this uh, system, and they would have their own login, etc. And they would immediately get details pertaining to their product stock at the different stores. And accordingly, and we say that we as stores would have three to five days of um, stock. They can plan the delivery. Uh, uh, you know, as to what is the number of uh, X product or Y product from their uh, you know portfolio that needs to be sent to each of those uh, stores, and accordingly they will start servicing. They will service each of each of the stores. Go here, here, this way. Similarly, each of these bank vendors will do the same thing. Service all the stores. So though it looks very complicated and dirty here because I'm just drawing it in a small whiteboard. But if you go to my presentation and in the next year where I put uh, the distribution model, it's slightly animated, so you it will be a better idea as to how this model works.